lot of seniors graduate. So we have a pretty new team coming in. It's almost half of our team are, are freshmen. So uh, kind of a new look for our group and um, just establishing that identity is gonna be super important. After tryouts and everything, going through tryouts with all these guys, uh, I'm super excited about what we have for the year. Every year we think um, we're improving, which is a, is a really cool uh, thing to think about. I think being intentional as a coaching staff with you know, not, not thinking we can kind of just hit the ground running, but we have to, you know, learn how to maybe tie our shoes before we run kind of kind of deal. So that's what we're doing, kind of going slow and steady, and, and we want to make sure we're building a, a good foundation for the whole year. I can definitely say for last year with our group that we had as that freshman class coming up to sophomores, uh, we're super close-knit. And being able to have a freshman class this big coming in and as skilled as they are, um, it's going to be really big for not only the team, but the culture that we have and the culture that we're building. We still have a couple of grad students here that um, have a lot of experience under their belts that can help us all, help all the young guys kind of navigate through uh, what to expect during the season. But I, I see us having a lot of potential and uh, becoming a really united team throughout the season. You know, we're not looking to compromise this year as a throwaway or anything because of our young you know, young class, uh, young amount of players that we have, but capitalizing on, on who we are and what we have. Going independent this year, uh, super excited for it. Um, playing some teams that, you know, we really haven't ever played before and have some pretty big road trips ahead of us, um, as well as teams coming to town that uh, are good and we're gonna have really good competition ahead of us. We love being in the MAC and we love being a part of, you know, the conference and playing for, our, you know, a championship. Uh, you know, we're, we're blessed to, to win the last two years in a row, which I think is, is, a, is a really cool feat, and I think it always prepares you for a national run as well. Uh, you know, we're in it for around 12 years, really, so uh, we have a lot of, I'd say, our origin and foundation we can attribute to being a part of that conference. So I think that's allowed us to grow to the program that we are now and give us that consistency in scheduling. And, and now I think we're excited about being able to uh, play teams that we maybe haven't played before or teams that we don't normally play and kind of get outside of our region, but still be able to get some of the top teams you know, in, in regional play as well. And I love the makeup of the Division II uh, kind of landscape of the league. I love the regions. I love the, the seedings and, and how it all works. So. I think for us it's just advantageous to do it as well too. We all know what our destination is and that's becoming national champions this year. Um, so it's a matter of how we get there and focusing on the process. We definitely have some big expectations not only from people looking in but uh, of ourselves. Um, and I think that's good that we have these goals and um, you know a lot of people say that having these expectations are hard to live up to. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that this team is one that can do that. We have some huge games the first semester, so we want to do everything we can to be ready for it. But I think our goal is, you know, it's pretty cliche, but you know, we've developed a couple, you know, internal processes that we want to focus on, that we want to get better at and improve on throughout, you know, the course of the year. So we have a plan. We want to stick to it and, and be patient. And I don't want to say. Uh, get too far ahead of ourselves, but I think you know we are you know, really excited about the, the team that we have.